So a lot of you were asking me how to make this CRT effect that I use in my most recent edit. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make this CRT kind of VHS vibe effect and I'm going to help you with like the little glitch overlay transition at the same time. All of this can be done inside of AE so you don't have to worry about having overlays and stuff like that. If you do want overlays I will plug an overlay drive at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned if that's something that you want to look forward to. So this is where we're going to start off with. Um, it's just a bunch of framers and the CRT effect itself. Um, I'm going to start off by going over the CRT effect, but let me show you what I've done on like a completely clean slate with the exact same framers. So it looks a little bit different and that's mainly because there's no basics or CC on top of it. Um, it's going to look different for every single scene that you make. Don't expect it to look the exact same, but you can tweak it to however much you like and like what you messed with the most. It's all preference at the end of the day. So for starters, we're going to start with the CRT effect right here. I'm going to go over each effect individually but it's around seven effects all of them are pretty important um, and I'll show you the settings for each and I'm also gonna plug this PF if you want it just uh, comment PF or DM me and I'll send it to you for free so for starts we have hue sat bright all this is gonna do is just desaturate the scene a bit um, to give that little older vibe then we have digital damage which just gives like this little blocky um, glitch at the top and like around the screen um, over time here are the settings for that. Then we have JPEG damage, which gives it like the old uh, mosaic kind of vibe um, by lowering the quality. Here's the settings for that. And we have flicker with color amp, which basically just adds like a little flicker with like a little bit of different colors um, to make it kind of like more staticky. And we have signal on top of that. Here are the settings for that. And we have wave warp, which gives like these little very small subtle lines that like little TV effect. Um, and then to top it off, we have a little transform just to scale it in and also avoid having like the tiles and the outlines. Um, and that should give like this little static key effect. This is used in a lot of the framers. So if you see this, I'm going to kind of just skip over it because you know how to make it now. Here's all the effects one more time just in case. You can uh, pause the video and scroll to uh, just like kind of see them. And now we're going to start on the framers itself. The framers are a little uh, over complicated. But um, at the same time, some of them are really just like one effect that you can just go and get for free or pay for. It's your choice. So for starters, we have um, this little glitch effect that adds like the little lines. Um, in order to make this, we have the um, VHS effect, the CRT, on top of it. But under it, we have um, this. And in order to make this, all you have to do is use TV damage. And you're going to enable your radio interference and your electrical interference. Um, this is going to be your settings for your radio interference. And then for your electrical interference, the most important thing is your area width and then your amount and frequency. So you see, it'll usually start off with something like this. You want to make sure that's scaled to the entire scene. And then just uh, mess with the amount in order to get the little like holes between the lines and that fractal. Uh, and then you can mess with your quantity and width. It's all preference, but this is what this one looks like. And then all it is is just a transform that's scaled in a lot. And then you're going to set this layer to screen so that all you see is the whites instead of having the blacks along with it. Then you just put the CRT effect on top of it and it'll give you our first frame. From there, we're going to go on to this frame. This frame has JPEG damage and data glitch and bad TV on top of it. This is the settings for the JPEG damage. Here's the settings for the data glitch. And here's the settings for the bad TV. Uh, right under it. There's just a transform layer that only has the scale width pulled out in order to pull like the screen like wider. From there, we have just a simple uni VHS with the tape damage set to color noise and then a tint right under it. Then all we have is a transform with bad TV um, with the signal and scan distortion pulled up. And then we have another one that kind of overcomplicated effects. We have the CRT uh, on top and then under it we have uh, kind of the same concept with the original TV damage, uh, but it's two in order to have more of the lines and then you just move the placement of the line. So there's one right here, one right here. They both have the exact same settings almost. Uh, and then this one center is just moved so that the lines are in a different position. And then you're going to scale that in to however much you want. I have it scaled it in a bunch. And then I have RGB separation in order to give like the little uh, extra colors. And then you just put the 
CRT on top of that. And that's that framer done. Next we have a basic framer, it's just signal. Um, and then right under it we have uni VHS with tint. This is set to color noise. And then levels for like um, a higher black level and a lower white level in order to put like the really deep black and white. Right after that we have the CRT again. And then we have TV damage, uh, the exact same concept as before. And then transform to however much you want. Time warp RGB set to uh, just red and green. Clamp chroma down a bit and then the hue shifted to where it's more of like a green and blue. From there, you're gonna wanna put that layer to screen. Most of these TV damage scenes are all screen because you don't want the blacks from it. You only want the like highlights. Uh, as you can see, this looks a lot worse, obviously. So we just want it to look like this. And then it's the exact same concept on this frame um, with the TV damage one, but then right under it we have signal. Um, here are the settings for that. And then right below that we have the CRT. And the last frame is just data glitch with the glitch count on two and just the seed manipulated until I liked it. And that's literally it. It seems really overcomplicated, but it's really not. It's just a lot of framers and um, just like uh, usage of effects. Um, after you put basics and like a CC on top of it, it'll look a lot better. Um, but I think this alone already looks really good. Um, and you can kind of just spam this however you want. You can also mess around with where the placement of the framers are. It's all personal preference at the end of the day. You can add some other stuff like cross glitch, seven glitch in one. It's your preference. Um, but that's it. I'm going to link this PF uh, in description. And if this seems a little too overcomplicated for you, a little too hard, I would suggest getting this uh, free glitch slash CRT overlay pack by Kia on Twitter. Um, I'll put his at on top of the screen right now. Um, that pack has a lot of good glitches that make it really easy for you to just make this stuff up on the fly instead of having to make it for yourself. If this helped you, please like the video and comment just to let me know. Um, if you want to support me or anything that I do, I'd really appreciate it if you go check out my pack. It's linked in my pay hip. Um, apart from that, let me see what you guys do with this glitch effect. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day.